can be tricky to identify dragonflies and damselflies when you're first starting out, but fear not. We've teamed up with the British Dragonfly Society to give you some handy tips on how to identify some of the most common dragonfly and damselfly species that you're likely to spot in your garden in April and May. We will be covering males and females, but in general, males will be more visible around water where they're protecting their territory, whilst females will return to water to lay their eggs. The most obvious difference between dragonflies and damselflies is that dragonflies are large, strong flyers, whereas damselflies are smaller and more delicate. When they're taking a break, dragonflies rest with their wings spread out to the side, whilst damselflies rest with their wings folded back. Look out for their eyes too. Dragonfly eyes meet at the centre of their heads, whilst damselfly eyes are separated on either side of their head. Let's start with an easy one. Large red damselflies are appropriately named. They're relatively large and red. There is also a small red damselfly, but it's much rarer and only found in heathlands in southern England and West Wales. Large red damselflies, on the other hand, are common and widespread. So if you spot a red damselfly in your garden, it's likely to be this one. Here's what to look out for. The large red damselfly is up to 36 millimeters long. It has a red abdomen with some black markings, as well as black legs and black wing spots. The females can have some yellow markings on the abdomen too, and some come in a darker form. Also look out for their dreamy looking stripy eyes. If you spot a blue damselfly, there are a couple of species that look very similar. We're going to look at the most common species here, as this is what you're most likely to find flying around your garden pond. Blue damselflies that are on the wing in April or May are likely to be an azure, a common blue or a blue-tailed. So how do we tell the difference? The two blues that look really similar at first glance are azures and common blues. Azures are common, widespread and more likely to be loitering around your pond as common blues prefer larger bodies of water. If you get a closer look, you can look out for the following. The azure damselfly is up to 33 millimetres long. It has a black spur on the side of its thorax and thin blue shoulder stripes. The male is blue with black stripes and has a black U-shaped marking behind its wing bases. It also has a black bow tie shaped marking at the end of its abdomen. The females are generally green with extensive black colouring on the abdomen, although there is a blue form to look out for too. The common blue damselfly is up to 32 millimetres long. It has wide shoulder stripes and unlike the azure, it has no spur on the side of its thorax. The male has a tree or mushroom shaped black mark behind its wing bases and two completely blue segments at the end of its abdomen, a bit like tail lights. The female comes in two colour forms, blue or a drab green that turns brown with age. They also have black rocket shaped markings along the top of the abdomen. If you spot a damselfly with just a flash of blue, it could be the blue tailed damselfly. Here's what to look out for. The blue tailed damselfly is up to 31 millimeters long. The male blue tailed damselfly is easy to spot as it has a black abdomen with a flashy blue spot at the end, hence the name blue tailed. The females come in five different colour forms, which can make it tricky to identify them, but a good feature to look out for on both males and females is their black and white wing spot. If you live near a river or a stream, you might be lucky enough to have this stunning, larger damselfly visit your garden. The banded demoiselle is up to 42 millimetres long. Both the male and the female banded demoiselle have a striking metallic appearance and fluttering butterfly-like wings. The male is a metallic green or blue with a large black band across each wing, whilst the female has a metallic green body with translucent pale green wings. Now we're going to look at three of the most common dragonfly species that you might see hanging around your garden pond in April and May. The broad-bodied chaser, 
the Four Spotted Chaser and the Emperor Dragonfly. The broad-bodied chaser is pretty chunky with a noticeably wide abdomen. They're widespread throughout southern England and Wales and they're often the first to colonise new ponds. The females are golden coloured with paler spots on the sides, whereas the males sport a light blue abdomen. Immature adult males can look similar to the females. The wings have dark wing bases. The four spotted chaser is up to 48 millimetres long. They have a brown chunky abdomen with yellow marks on the sides as well as small dark triangles on their wing bases. At first glance you may think that the four spotted chaser looks like a slimmer version of the female broad bodied chaser, but there's one key difference. Each wing is decorated with two obvious dark spots and they're often described as looking like flying cigars. The males and females, very handily, look the same. Let's finish with the absolute marvel that is the Emperor Dragonfly. As Britain's bulkiest dragonfly, the striking blue and green emperor is hard to miss. It's up to 78 millimeters long. It has an apple green thorax and green or blue eyes. There's a central dark line down their abdomen and a yellow leading edge to the wing. The males have a blue abdomen, whereas the females have a green abdomen, although that's also occasionally blue. In flight, the abdomen looks a little drooped. So that pretty much covers all the common dragonfly and damselfly species that you're likely to see on the wing in April and May. But there's one more thing you can keep an eye out for, exuviae. If you have a pond, then have a look for exuviae on vegetation around the pond. An exuvia is the external skeleton of the larva, which is left behind after the larva has crawled out of the water and the adult has emerged. Damselfly exuviae are smaller and slimmer than typical dragonfly exuviae. If you'd like to learn more about dragonflies, there is absolutely loads of information on the British Dragonfly Society's website where you can learn about more species and look at lots of beautiful pictures to help with identifying what you've seen. And don't forget to send records of any dragonflies you see to british-dragonflies.org.uk and of course check out the Wildlife Garden Project website where you can learn lots of tips to make your garden more wildlife friendly.